Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Kevin here and uh, this is my new project. Uh, the homeowners went on vacation and while they're gone they want me to take out this bathtub. It's a five foot bathtub right hand. They want me to install a new faucet even though that looks like the new style. And uh, of course we got to do a drain. It's a right hand want new shower walls and a shower door so they want to be able to step up just like three inches to the tub and we got a little bit of mismatch in here the walls are like an almond color got a wainscoting um, the toilet has an almond colored seat with a, a white finish on the toilet and it might be a bone color, but almond sink and almond tub, and they want a white shower. So maybe they're considering on replacing this pedestal sink in the future with a white white one. So what I got to do, I got to start off by taking off some trim around the tub. Get all their personals out of here. See if I can find a box or a bag or something to put everything in so I can keep things clean and organized. Um, we want to protect the floor. I got to take off some molding along the base and take off the shower curtains, etc. Save them. And they're going to want me to paint the walls. I might do a two tone in here and do like a white bottom and like a cream yellow top. I think they said yellow. I don't think the Wayne's County would look good yellow. So we'll be doing two colors with that. And then uh, we got to replace some plumbing. So we'll go take a look at that. I think uh, the house is copper. And I think some of this is PEX. So I'll probably be putting in some shutoff valves, some drains. They've got a ceiling tiles in the basement. So let's go take a look. Okay, they have a large family and the family members come by and stay for a weekend or whatever. So they made a mini bedroom down here. There's a fireplace room, TV room in there. And uh, there's a bedroom through that door, laundry room. And I think this is another bedroom space over here. Approximately 20 years ago, I built this bathroom down here for this purpose and it's just a little room and this is in the basement so I had to dig out the concrete I put in an up pump system so that the sink and toilet could drain you know uphill and I finished the, you know the ceiling tiles I just finished them on inside here I did a printed paneling so it's a little more attractive right away the flooring doesn't look like it's holding up real well. This is a laminate, um, but it's 20 years old, so it's probably not too bad. I think the moisture from the concrete messes with it. But I did Wayne's cutting in here, put in a fan, light, and heater so that, you know, they can be warm while they're in here. Okay, I got interrupted there. A neighbor come over and was watering the plants, and I had to speak with it. okay well anyways where was i here's the bathtub and we got an overflow inch and a half you got an inch and a half drain comes down to a fern co i got a trap a clean out and a fern co which is inch and a half to looks like inch and a half to inch and a quarter goes into a copper drain pipe. A lot of copper in here. And that's our exit. But our pipe, as you can see, let's see down there. You see it goes up over top of that beam and then it goes back down again. So it's got a sediments in the pipe all the time. And, uh, 
what has to happen, I guess, is drill a hole through that beam so you can properly pitch that pipe. But what we got to do is look for supply lines here. And I don't see them. There they are. Um, there's one. There's two. Okay. We do... We do have shutoffs. We got one right here. It's already a PEX. And over here a PEX. So that's great. We're going to be turning these off. And then we're going to be cutting out some of this pipe and replacing it because the shower is going to have a two inch drain. And we got five eighths. Oh no. We got five eighths plywood sheathing and then it looks like we got a three-quarter maybe it's another five-eighths plywood on the floor and then the tub is set in mortar so it looks like that's going to be smashed out chiseled out oh this is going to be a project getting that tub out of here let's get this water shut off so i got the hot and cold turned off there this tub has got the insert inside the tub to unthread for the drain. So I got to do that. And because this is a glued overflow, we got two screws inside the tub and that'll free that up. And then it looks like I can unscrew the uh, fern co here and this drain will come right up out of there. So that'll be pretty good. I can see way up there that there, it's clipped to the wall stud so it's a direct mount so if I can get the surround uh, screws or nails whatever that's held on with out I might be able to remove the shower walls in one one piece that mortar has me bothered a little bit it's great to have mortar as far as setting a tub but not to remove a tub might come out in many, many pieces. All right, got to confirm we got the water off. Water's off. Flat. And uh, this is a pop-up. I think these just unthread. Yeah. I get some pliers and a rag. And get a screwdriver set. Large pliers. See what I can find in the toolbox here. There's a screwdriver set. Always the first day, you kind of got to get organized. You know what tools I need till I get started. I didn't bring a rag in, so we'll use a little bit of toilet paper on that. I got a big pair of pliers. That's about a two and a half inch. Let's see if we can get this thing undone here. I like doing bathrooms and kitchens in the cold months I get some requests they work in the summertime and I'm like oh I don't want to work indoors so this is just a pop up this thing is fine a lot of hair down in there but we'll gotta unthread that basin like I said, I'm not sure we can get this tub out of here in one piece. I doubt it. It'd be nice to repurpose it. It's in pretty good shape. Could use a cleaning, but I don't see any damage on it anywhere. And this spout's got to be unthreaded. Oh, that's good. Hopefully we won't lose a lot of water to that. It's hard to get a 
shower or tub out without damaging it to repurpose, you know. This was glued in. This has silicone on it. And what do we got here? That won't come off in there, so I'll take that off too. This residual water. So let's see. I got a drain tool. I didn't bring. I can't find it. But let's see what we can get down in that drain, like a needle nose pliers or something we can turn up. Let's see what I can fit in there. Here's some needle nose vice grip. See if we can snap onto that. This might break too. I think this you know, 15, 20 year old top. So who knows the condition? <sighs> Trying to get parts out, I'm plumbing. Let's see if I can unturn this. Check it out. She turned. That's rare. This residual water dripping I don't like. Won't harm anything yet. But when I get this unthreaded, I'll probably have to put a bucket down there because I don't want it dripping on the floor. It is concrete underneath that flooring material, but there's a lot of hair and gunk in there. It don't won't matter. Because we're taking that whole pipe out. So, here's that. Let's see if we can unthread this now. Get as many of these parts out as we can. This is like a copper stub. When I get this loose, if it doesn't come off in there, I might be able to just make this a little larger with a oscillating tool. All right, let's do the overflow. Finish that up. come through yesterday we got seven inches probably seven inches I'm up on a hill we get a little more than they do down here but at least seven and I plowed that and sun's out today and it's 33 degrees right now March 1st springs are coming all right and then this can just drop down so I'll get a bucket and put all my parts in. Start disassembling things. And like I said, I'm going to do it in this fashion versus start smashing things because if somebody wants a faucet or whatever, you can. They want a new shower. They said there's something wrong with his head leaks or something. And this is kind of old. Yeah, this is all the newer ones you rub your hand over and it and it frees them up. This probably doesn't spray because all these little things are hard. So we'll get a new Go ahead and unthread all this stuff. Oh, that's real loose. Probably where it was leaking. And then that's pretty tight. And I save all these in case customers change their mind, but we're not gonna put in a new shower and use this old thing. 
So this whole shower spout needs to come out. Shower head. That's pretty tight. We'll get a new one with a new faucet, so I'm not gonna worry about putting pliers on that. This whole head right out of here because we got the water off. No chance of it coming on. Come on, pliers. Yes, I have to leave it. Get it to turn half a turn. And then this, this is baseboard, colonial baseboard. It's put on there to cover the lip of the shower, probably rather than re-drywall in the whole room. And we'll get a new escutcheon plate. Hello. So that's done. That's brass in there, so I like that. Now, we got to get a utility knife. To cut all this caulking, pry bar, probably a putty knife to lean against. And we can start taking this molding off. We got a grab bar here, which is Phillips. So we'll get that, probably get a drill for that. This is Phillips. And I think these have an Allen wrench in them underneath the handle. So I'll have to hunt up something for that down here. And then this grab bar. So, let me get a bucket put my parts in. All right, I got a long extension so I can get squared on here. Looks like just two screws in it. We're probably gonna be putting in another grab bar in here. So we may have to reinforce the wall for that purpose because we need good support for it. Now we're gonna take, these are, gotta look over here, are these Phillips? Now these are Phillips also. Take the escutcheon plate off. I don't know if there's any pressure on how the pipes are, so I might stop right there. And figure out how this thing comes apart. Uh, it's a, it's a monitor, so it's a delta. There's probably a screw here. No? So this cover comes off somehow. Hmm. It just pops off. And this faucet's got a lot of wear on it. Good time to get rid of it. All right, tell me how this comes off from here, guys. Is this on thread? No. It's gotta be right here. Right? Yep. Plastic. Phillips screw. Off, on, that's off right there. Take as much stuff off as we can. So 
all plastic. Let's see what else comes out of here. So that leaked and it got soap in there. Water, hard water. Let me get this handle on. Faucets are like a hundred bucks and up. So if this is still usable, I'd rather not trash it. I could check see if they got a little WD-40 in the garage. I don't see any set screws what those two openings are for. So. It's all plastic, so I'm gonna run out and see if I can get a little WD. All right, I got a little PB blaster. Give it a little bit of a squirt there. And then I brought in a hammer. So if I do a little pull and tap, in there. The water not turning off all the way. That's the thing with shut off valves is you gotta shut them off on occasion because you get a little hard water in the valve and it doesn't want to close. Hmm. Got a flashlight here. My favorite one. There's no set screws. A lot of handles have a little 3 16 or some Allen screw right here. So maybe this cap comes off. What would that do though? I don't know. Don't you wish they made a standard for everything? Let's see if that little cap comes off in there. I don't know. Look at that water. I think I'll go down and shut off the main. We're not using any water in the house. I'll be back. I may have to replace both valves. All right, I went down and shut the main water valve off because I don't want this thing leaking all over. Let's see. Hate getting rough on plastic. Oh. This is cast. See, it broke that gear. It's down there tight. So now I should go take this off. And that should be all of our screws. Look at our scunching off. This has a backing on it. We should be able to leave our faucet alone for now. And then, is this turned in the off position? It is now. Okay, so now, we should be able to take all of our trim around the tub off. We got, it's a colonial baseboard. It's pretty close to this mirror, but we can get that off in there all the way around. 
that should expose the flange of the tub and see what we can get out of here. If things don't come out nice, things are glued, whatever, I'll start cutting. Get it out in pieces, get a garbage bag. Let's get going on that. All right. We know we're going to be replacing some drywall, so I'm not too awful concerned up here where their shower rod went across, the compression damage a paint surface anyway, so this all had to be cut out and scuffed out. And I'll probably replace a piece of drywall, tape, mud, paint, prime paint. The ceiling looks really good. I like the way that was done. So we're not gonna damage the ceiling at all. Let's get this trim out. And what I like to do, be nice if I set up a little ladder here. But stand right up here and then what I like to do is use a mud knife to protect the wall see if I can tap it in there well maybe not look at that in there It didn't look like caulk up here, but maybe it is. So I'll cut that with a knife. Grab that. Because that's like a real hard type of silicone or something there. We'll see what this is. Let's Blade doesn't look very sharp. Of course, right? When you're done with your utility knife, replace the blade. I can't cut butter with that one. They do have new ones, they're both shot. A little bit of water did drip down on the floor down there, so I have that fixed. Our water's all off and there's no drips now. This is one of those Lennox carbides. See how good that is. Listen to that. Yeah, that's a silicone. I don't know why. Silicone base. It should have been just a painter's type. God, we're right way up here. Uh. Careful. So that should fix that one. Once you get that in, I like to take some kind of flat bar and get behind it. Then you're not damaging the wall, you're leaning on your knife. curious what the what this trim's on here for. Probably so they didn't have to do drywall work. Because these tubs are mounted. Yeah, that's it. It has glue on it, so I construction adhesive. And this is plastic wood. That's good in the shower area. Okay. Neither Phillips or Square Drive. I want to see. Let me take that one off. I want to see what that lip is held on with. Let's see what kind of project we got going on here. Grab that same, same bit I had. We're similar. See if they come out of here. Oh, yeah. hope, these are, yeah, hope these aren't glued on. Let's move it. There we go. 
Nice. These are on with screws. That's a PEX pipe up at the top. So if it's about 20 years ago, they say. So these will just come undone. Just like a so. Um, I think what we're going to do instead of a trim is we're going to run the drywall right down and then mud right around it, make it look like it was always here. And then we'll be painting that yellowish color right up to it. And this is not glued to the wall, so that's good. So we can pull out like this end the back and this end by taking all this trim off and pulling these screws out. So I'll work on that. You don't need to see that again. And then, I don't know what you can see up there. See, that's got a shower head PEX pipe. It was screwed right to the studs. So this would be nice putting in the other one. It should go in pretty good. The only thing we gotta worry about is uh, the base here because that's in mortar. It's kind of a shame because I could save the unit. These shower walls won't be any good being a off white color, like a bone. Everything's about white in stock. So. This might end up getting trashed. I'll be careful getting this out, but it might end up getting trashed. Well, that was kind of a cool idea. This is 5 8 fire code drywall in the bathroom here. This went against the studs. They have it shimmed. And then they used OSB to fur it out. And then the baseboard went around so it looked like trim. Kind of looked pretty good. The problem we got... I got all the screws out all the way except behind this wainscoting is OSB and it goes over the lip. So I'm going to have to get a tool and cut this. This lip is about an inch and a quarter so I got to cut about an inch and a half down and cut that baseboard. Doubt I can lift the tub up over it. Then I got to take that cord around, which is probably glued on, off, around the perimeter. Then I can start pulling these walls out, because right now they're trapped on both ends here, behind that wainscoting. All right, what a mess, guys. Um, it's 58 inches from the wainscoting to the edge of <clears throat> the tub and so that's what I want to keep in mind when we get our new one because I want to make sure that it clears our sink and I think we're going to be fine and uh, I think this unit's a 32 and I couldn't cut very good because you know you can't get in there with any good tools but I cut that sheathing back so I can get the tub surround out and get the tub out did it on both sides Got all the screws out. So now, it looks like probably a little dab of silicone in the corners. But other than that, I think these walls should come out okay. And probably this tub spout, I better clean that up because that hole's drilled pretty tight to that. So we can get past that. And then uh, I'll go stack them out in the garage for now. And then we'll work on this tub. I think I'll just come in here with a oscillating tool and clean this up a little. So 
silicone. It doesn't want to come off too good, you know. It might fit over that okay because it got on there apparently. I don't think that was sweated on after this was on. So let's see if we can get this one wall off in here. And we'll start off with a tough one. I don't know how much silicone is down that edge, you know? Maybe a lot. She's not breaking free, so I'll get probably the Let's see, the, probably the tape knife, I think. Let's get down in there. Got a plastic one. May not scratch. And it may not be strong enough either. Let's see where the metal one is. That's a thing with silicone, you know? Hard to get it removed. Feels like there's something right there. Uh, looks it. There's like a little groove channel. It's probably something right in there. So, so much for salvaging this. That was the object. I was going to try to get this apart and give it to somebody who wants to remodel on a low budget. Got a few friends that are in a mobile home that could use a new shower. And she's stuck everywhere. But if I could get that bottom broke free then the top might come out easier a lot of these older ones the last three inches they want you to caulk and then the drain channel comes out right here so if you put a door on it doesn't run through the back of the door it comes out the front here inside the tub. So I think there's some kind of silicone there. Let's see if I can get a bar behind this. I start cracking things, right? The suspense. That's tough. Silicone. 20 year old silicone. Still tough. Here at Taryn, so we can do this without cracking it. No. Mm, doubt it. No, oh, flange is breaking. I don't think we're going to save this. Oh, it's on there. Oh. This is probably going to be a no-go, guys, but I did a little work for Habitat, volunteered for 400 hours on a house here in town, and they try to accept donations. I can see behind here. Uh, there's no adhesive on the wall. But there is silicone across the bottom of that. So I guess this is probably going to crack. But I, I like to salvage when we can. Yeah. I guess it's going to be all busted here in a moment. That is some tough silicone. Looks like 
of freed, but I think it cracked it somewhere here. Time's almost free. silicone. Yeah, she's kind of ruined. I couldn't lift that up. Let's see if it did a lot of damage on it. A little on the lip. I don't know. I can still donate them if I can get them off from here, but I wouldn't want it for my house. I wouldn't want the color anyway. I don't like more. There's one. Let's see when we get this end off. Um, we learned a little bit on the other one that it's got to go up about an inch and a half once you get it broke free. Maybe I can attempt. To lift it right in the beginning. I don't know. I know it's right here's a dimple, so that's got to be caught the last three inches. Gives you a workout. It might give me enough to lift this up out of here. I don't know. I could try to take them off together. Let's see. And the back is not glued. It's just this front edge. It's kind of disappointing. Not meant to come apart. Yeah, it is glued good. I think I got it now. Let me get this out. It's got to go up about an inch and a half to unhook on those three little dimples. And I think it's got silicone on it. That's a shame. That's the thing when you got a 60 inch room and a 60 inch top. You get a lot of wiggle room. come off this one I don't see any damage on it and the back wall shouldn't give us any trouble we just got to turn and come out and then we'll see I got to move some stuff so I can get out through the house I'm gonna set it in the garage all right I got all the pieces outside they don't look too bad they uh you know, this one on the right here kind of cracked a little on where it mounts. This is why you don't want to run a sawzall cutting things out. There's a wire, double wire. And 
This is a 1950s house. We got two before in the corners. We're good here. I don't think we have to do much for framing. Sometimes I run a bridge board across wherever the the top of the shower or tub is going to be. We got to clean up all the walls here. Put a new drywall, mud tape. This tub has clips on it. They're screwed against the studs. And what we got to do is take them out. They're Phillips also. And what we got to do is take take those clips out. And then I doubt this tub's going to move because it's on sitting on mortar. If I can't get it to budge, I'm just going to have to bust it out. It's a shame. It's a nice deep tub. All right, I got all the clips loose. I can't get them all out of there yet, but they will come out. Got the screws out of them. Now we got to take and see if we can get the tub loosened up, which I doubt. And normally, if it was just sitting on the floor, it would wiggle all over. But we can see from the basement that this was mortared in, so. not gonna move so I'm gonna say I don't have to cut it out of here which is a shame so that makes the, the walls of the shower not very useful now because they don't go to a matching tub you know yeah nothing's even budging so it looks like I'm gonna have to saw this tub up into pieces i'll stay away from the the water lines the electric line there's an outlet on that other wall there's a switch over here on this wall and uh that's a shame it'd be nice if i come in and give it a sweet kick and jump up off the floor this has a linoleum floor and then a plank floor on top of it so I don't really want to pry on the bottom of the floor to lift it up. I probably will. Just for giggles here. Let's see if I can get it to move at all. Not sure I can get all the way under the tub because it sits down another half inch anyway. Set my tape knife here. And try lifting. Be cool if it break free. But that mortar sticks to that bottom of the tub really well. So it's like a no go on this. salvage items if it doesn't overly take too long here stay in some kind of budget I wish this planking went the opposite direction just in case I damage a front board or the new tub shower doesn't come out to meet it I don't have to replace all this flooring Good. So I'll get back with you if we can get this. I'll let you know here. Well, I busted a gut, guys. The uh, tub had 
mortar on the bottom. See how thick that is? It's an inch and a half over here, so that looks like about two bags of concrete. And I couldn't lift it up out of there, so I cut this one flat stud. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the screws were put on for the outside, so it looks like a couple studs were replaced here, and there's new drywall. See that out there? And so, <coughs> excuse me, I have a feeling that the um, the tub was put in here and then the wall was formed around it. Um, that's old drywall. That's been cut out for some reason there, I don't know what. And then uh, that notch out, I think, because it probably had a cast iron tub with a soap dish or something in the wall. I don't see any leaks or anything under here, but there is another layer of plywood over top of the original and then the mortar didn't stick that great to it, which is all right because what you needed was support for the tub. You know, you stand in there, you don't want it cracking. And uh, this is one of the early by Crow units. The newer ones, you don't necessarily need the mortar, but I got to pound that off in there because it weighs like a ton and a half. I'm not sure if it damaged the floor getting it out of here, but we got to do what we got to do to get this thing going. And uh, so I'll get a hammer and I think I'll break this off, throw it in a garbage bag and get this out of here, this mortar. And then I should be able to lift the tub and get it out through here. Right now, it's probably 200 and some pounds. It's heavy. Well, what a mess, guys. Look at all that concrete. That's heavy, so... I gotta clean this up, get this out of here. The tub's gonna be a lot lighter now. I don't see any damage on it. It might be alright for somebody to use, but... I'll keep it together, probably... Somebody will take it. Um... I don't know. Probably heavy for garbage bags. Let me get a tote and get this concrete out of here. All right, I got everything cleaned up. Uh, the homeowner's got a little gravel pile out back I can dump the concrete in so I don't have to haul that away. And uh, I got the tub and surrounds out in the garage. Now what we got to do is start putting things back together. I got to get a, a material list. The, uh, now you can see the drain assembly there. We're going to switch that out to 2 inch. So it might be possible to cut the pipe down below and and do a reducer because you know a 2 inch shower drain to an inch and a quarter pipe isn't going to you know meet code anyway. So what are you going to do? Um, the shower head I might change that out. Moves a little bit. Yeah, it moves. So, find out if the ear's loose on that or replace it. And then, this has PEX crimped fittings. Female. I don't know if they're reusable or not. If not, I just gotta get some accessories. Um, I wanna replace the shutoff valves because they don't shut off. All the way and um, I'll start my list going here I got to make sure the studs are in the proper spots I'll probably have to do something in here and beef that up I'll put this uh, upright flat two before <coughs> back in there I had this bath fan on sucking some of this dust out I don't see any damage on the flooring I was fairly careful with it but uh, you know, if we got to replace this floor, it's only about a five by five, so about a box and a half of flooring. Be nice if it ran the other direction, but it goes the same way as a oak in the hallway, which is a proper way. So I'm hoping that the new unit is going to fit in here. And I got a choice, but the ones that are in stock are a 32. So from the wall to that edge is 32. So it might be in good shape. So I'll start my material list. 
I'll uh, get a good list going, go gather up supplies. I'll probably be about done for today. I'll just finish my lists. And there's a water access from the other bathroom. There's another bathroom on the other side of this. Um, yeah, that's went pretty good, actually. I didn't think we broke anything. I'm going to try to give that tub away to somebody that can use it. And like I said, I got to paint, got to do some molding, do some drywall, get a shower, surround. They want shelving. Got to have a right hand drain, a five foot, a, probably a mowing faucet, fix that shower spout, get an extension. Um, got to try to get a non slip bottom. And then I want to get a fancy heavy door. So it'll be bypassing doors instead of a curtain. And then uh, should be able to reuse that that handicap bar on the back. And um, so, yeah, it went pretty good, guys. So I might see you in the shopping trip or after I get everything and get it back here. We got another snowstorm coming. I like to gather tub parts and the big items in the uh, trailer. But I don't like taking the trailer out when the roads are bad. So we'll see how this goes. I might have them deliver. So a little clean up. Got a few nails to pull. Got to trim off some drywall. I might just cut above that shower spout there. So I can get to it and make a nice square line all the way around here. And then we'll continue.